Alrighty, alrighty. Thanks for tuning in to NC Vaping. We're coming at you today with a product review, and we're looking at the steam turbine uh, Genesis style atomizer from e cigarette lobby. Uh, it's a 21 millimeter device, uh, so you do have just a, just an edge of a lip there, but I mean, it's not really noticeable, you know. I've got this on the Illuminatus mod. Um, love this big mod, but I think this looks really good on there. Need to clean this up a little bit, polish her up. She looked awesome on here, um, but I mean it's not really that noticeable. 21 to 22 millimeter, you know, so it's not really that bad. Don't have any issues with it. Um, oh man, really awesome. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, this is made by SMY for e cigarette lobby. Um, and e cigarette lobby has this. Uh, I mean, wow, I, I, I couldn't believe the price when I seen it. Um, you can get this from e cigarette lobby for $15.99. Um, I got this, wanted to do a review on it. Uh, because I, uh, I kind of like the Genesis atomizers, I'm kind of working on getting into those. Um, I played around with another one and uh, uh, a little bit. Uh, matter of fact, I had two of them. Uh, same kind, but I wanted to kind of branch out and try some more. And the steam, and th this one has been around for a while. Um, steam animals, Genesis style animizers are, are, have been around for a while. It's kind of what people were kind of got into for a, a period and then they started coming out more with the dripping atomizers and all that stuff and, and things like that and some people you know started getting into those and the tank uh, rebuildable tank atomizers to which this kind of falls into a re rebuildable tank atomizer um, but it's a Genesis style because the the tank is on the bottom and the wicks are on the top and it draws up um, and you can build this different ways. You can build a single core, dual core, or you can do a U wicken uh, on it. Uh, uh, really nice. And air holes are a little small. Wish those were a little bit bigger, but uh, nothing. I mean, nothing that. Uh, you can find this at E-Cigarette Lobby. I'll have a link uh, down below uh, to the page on E-Cigarette Lobby where you can find the steam atomizer, um, and then also. Uh, I'll throw a link down below for their Facebook page if you want to check them out on Facebook. Um, now, keynote, make sure the date that you're watching this video, uh, but they are getting ready to go into their Chinese holiday um, over there, which is from the, they're going to be taking their, theirs from the, the 17th, uh, February 17th through uh, February 27th. Um, so their support. Uh, or is going to be kind of a skeleton crew for limited, you know, limited support during the holidays. If you've got any questions or anything like that, and as far as shipments and orders, uh, there won't be any orders put out um, through their holiday. So if you make an order during the holiday, um, orders won't start shipping back out to the 28th. Um, so kind of, you know, watch how you do for that. If you um, today's the 15th for us, but it's the 16th for them because they're ahead of us. Um, so they're getting ready to step into that. So keep that in mind. Um, but e-cigarette lobby is pretty good about the shipping. Now when you do order from them, uh, they're not like fast tech and all that mess. But it generally takes you about seven to ten days, um, and, and you should have your order um, from them about seven to ten days. I have seen it in five, but generally seven to ten days. Uh, so I mean that's not too bad as far as shipment coming from over in Hong Kong or China or anything like that. Um, but I do believe the uh, e-cigarette lobby is based out of Hong Kong. Um, uh, it's where they're based. So let's go down low and uh, we'll take a good look at this and uh, look it over. Uh, I'll throw a little splash screen up with the specs and everything for the atomizer uh, right here as we go down low. You can pause and take a look at that or whatever um, so you can kind of see the specs on it if you want. And um, But let's have a vape and let's get ready to uh, Drop down and take a look at the steam turbine Genesis style rebootable atomizer. Ooh, yeah. All right. See you there in just a second.
All righty, all righty, all righty. Here we are. We're back. We're back. Taking a look at the steam turbine Genesis style atomizer from e-cigarette lobby. This is produced by SMY uh, for e-cigarette lobby. Uh, e-cigarette lobby has kind of gotten in works with SMY and they uh, use a lot of their products and SMY uh, does pretty good. Uh, don't really see too much uh, uh, bad remarks out of SMY. I mean, every company has an issue once in a while with a product. I mean, that's just going to be the way of nature. Uh, but as far as the quality of their products, I mean, they're pretty much, you know, they're up there is um, pretty good uh, with the quality of their products. You don't really have too many issues with their stuff. Um, really nice presentation. SMY always does with that. These here at Lobby is, is teamed in with them on that stuff so you get good presentation packaging. Um, comes in it's wrapped in plastic uh, this could have been with a little nice little velvet trays but I mean it's all right it's in a nice hard plastic box <laughs> you get your little goodie bag down there which is the screwdriver uh, the wick and wire uh, back in there is a the little blue screwdriver the infamous blue screwdriver uh, would love to see different color screwdrivers instead of always blue <laughs> uh, but you got your wire and your steel mesh uh, if you want to build your Genesis style atomizer with the, the mesh way, um, which was the way of the past, then uh, people, you know, you can use the Echo Wool or the, um, oh, what is it called? Let's see, what is it called? Uh, the Silica Wick, I'm sorry. Um, but I do prefer to use cotton um, with mine. And others have gone to doing that too. All right, we'll get that out of the way. Oops. Let me put that in there. Don't need that. All right, put that in right out of the way. Um, it is a polished stainless steel. Let me see if I can get it a little closer here. It is a polished stainless steel. Um, does come with a drip tip. Um, I mean, uh, I really like that. I think all Addies and RBAs that you buy should come with a drip tip. Uh, there were a lot of them don't. I think they all should. Uh, it is a really nice drip tip. It's got a decent bore on it here on this end, and then does go down to the uh, you know the standard size on that end. Uh, but it is a nice finish. There's no issues with it. It's got. Decent engraving on it there, which goes with the style of the atomizer. Bring it up here a little closer, see if it'll focus in. There, uh, oh, come on, it did. Oops. Damn, dropped it. Okay. Uh, there it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. <laughs> I'm pulling a twisted there. All right, there we go. Uh, it does have the nice engravings on it. Uh, to go along with that. Let me see if I can fix that focus just a little bit better where we can see this. Let me bring it on up here, son. There we go. All right. Uh, but it does have nice engravings on the drip tip, as I was saying, to kind of go with the different engraved markings on the Addy. Um, the top screws off. Just screws right off there. Nice threading. I haven't had any issue with the threads. It's nice and smooth. Uh, no gouges or anything in there. The the quality of the you know the workmanship of the way it was made. Uh, everything's nice. Uh, no issues. Everything looks good. All right here is your air holes. Let me bring that on in there. See if it'll focus up for you. And there it goes. There we go. You can see your two air holes there. I'll flip that on over. See if you can see. There you go. You can see them on the inside right there. There's the two on the other side. Here's your two down here by my finger right there on this side. So it does have dual holes on both sides. Um, and when you screw this down, it does line directly up with where your coils are built at. Uh, so you don't have any issues with it, you know, being out of whack or having to turn it to make sure it lines up. When you tighten it down, it lines right up with it. Um, so they build it, you know, correctly. Uh, kudos to SMY. All right. Then you do have your 
stainless steel polished shield and this is threaded on there too really nice smooth threads no issues um, you do have your cutout window so that you can see your juice and then I like the way it's got the little holes lined up with it you know to kind of give it that spinning turbine look nice glass shield now that is glass it's not plastic so you do have a nice glass and it is very thick uh, nice thick glass so you don't have to worry about any issues uh, there's your fill hole right there and then you have your negative screw there your negative screw there and then your positive in the center and it is like most you have to you know loosen your screw and then wrap the wire underneath of the screw and tighten it down uh, but you can build this single coil uh, or you can build it uh, the dual coil the way this is or you can do a u wicken thing um, and a u wicken is like where you'll bring your wick up you know come up through the one coil and over and down through this coil and back down into your tank so it's like a big u you know like a u-turn um, have seen those done too and that's pretty wild if you wanted to build that way you can actually drip some down on your cotton if you wanted to but you know that is what the tank is for but you can see I use cotton I've got to where I use cotton in these I don't I've never really played with the mesh and I hear that's a wonderful way to do your you know do these and it's the way they used to be done but I've never really messed with the wick the uh, the mesh wicking there's no kind of engravings on the bottom you do you have your silver plated uh, contact pin um, and you do have uh, del run around that to protect that so you don't have to worry about any shorting um, and it does protrude out let's see if it's going to focus in there for you let's see you, know, you can see it does protrude out of there so you don't have to worry about any you know shorting or it pushing over to the side or anything like that all right all right all right that is the up close look at the steam turbine genesis atomizer um we're going to go on back up to the top side. I'm going to uh, fill this on back up and we'll vape on it, finish talking about it, wrap this up. All right, we'll be right back. You hang on. All righty, all righty, we're back. Um, that is the close up look at the steam atomizer. Um, now, what do we think? Let me have another vape and we'll, uh, we'll talk about what I think about this thing. All right, all right. Let me see. Let me take a look here. All right. Here's the. Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh look at that! Look at that! Oh yeah. Not bad. Not bad. As old twisted 420 would say, not too shabby. All right. All right. Um. I tried to make sure that thing was as clean as I could get it before I did the review on it. Um, all right, the ups and downs. How do I like this thing? Uh, I like the quality and the workmanship. Uh, you know, I, I like the quality of this product. It's built good. Uh, they did a decent job on it. I don't have any issues with the threads, uh, the machining. Um, when it came to me, it was very clean. No scratches or anything like that. No dings or dents. Um, everything was really nice uh as far as the packaging goes i love the packaging um the little package that you get uh, came with the, the wick and the wire and the uh, blue screwdriver um the only thing that this did not come with it didn't come with extra o-rings um i'd have to kind of give it a thumb down for that um that, that that's a big to do you know everybody builds these atomizers and puts them out there uh, and sells them and all of that stuff you always got extra rings you got to have extra rings um, for these things you really do especially with with the Genesis atomizer you know it, it, and this has got the little white clear style o rings um, these are okay but you know in past we have seen that the, the, the clear ones don't really last too good um, sometimes sometimes they do sometimes they don't so you know it would have been nice to have the extra o rings um, haven't had any issues yet, so you know, keep my fingers crossed. So, uh, but if so, then I've got to look around and try to find some extra O-rings. 
Um, they gave me the wick. They gave me the wire. For the most part, none of us really use the wire that comes in these packages. Y'all can keep the wire and just make sure you use the rings. Um, the air holes uh, on this, uh, I wish they were just a little bit bigger. Um, it has a, a really tight draw, which is not too bad. Okay, I, mean, I don't really have no complaints with it, but my style of aping, I, I wish that was a little bit bigger. I can drill, you know, get them drilled out a little bit more, you know, so that's not a biggie, but, you know, some people like the tighter draw. So, you know, that's why they're the way they are. Um, so that's not really a thumb down or a thumb up, okay? That's just my preference there. The only the only real thumb down I got on this is about not getting any extra O-rings. Um, as far as the quality, as far as the vape, um, it's, not, it's not that hard to build on. Um, I haven't had any issues with it leaking. Um, the easiest way to fill it up is trying to use the little long needle tip, you know, needle easy squeezy bottles trying to use your regular bottles and squeezing it in there your drip droppers is a little hard um, you can do it but it, you know it's easier to use the long needle drip tip bottles um, but like I said as far as it's great flavor great flavor you get you know you get good vapor production off of it for what this is this is not something to blow clouds this is made to enjoy your vape enjoy the flavor you know so you know if you're the flavor junkie out there this is what you want um, if you're wanting to blow clouds this is not for you really good flavor I, I, I love this thing And you get, oh God, that's delicious. Um, run me some fruit loops through there. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, I give it a thumb up. I give it a thumb up. Like I said, the only, the, only, the only complaint I could have would be that they didn't put extra O rings in the little goodie bag. Um, and, and that's something that I think, you know, needs to be in with all rebuildable atomizers. You need to make sure there's extra O rings in there. Um, and that, that's a big thing. And that's, that would be the only thing I got. Other than that, I mean, it's a great product. Um, it's, it's made well. Um, it works well. It does what it's supposed to do. And it looks damn good on top of that. And it's only damn $15.99. Woo! You can't beat that. You can't beat that. And I think with e-cigarette lobby, oh, everything, everything's free shipping. So, I mean, $15.99, you can't beat it. And it'll be to your door in seven to ten days. Um, not too shabby as Twisted would say. Um, let's have a vape. We'll go ahead and wrap this up. I'll have a link down below uh, to the uh, where, uh, I'll have a link down below to uh, e-cigarette lobby's uh, web page to the steam atomizer and then you can feel free to uh, look around once you get to their page. Um, I had been just putting their main web page on there then you know but I didn't think about it really and truly. So I'm going to start putting a link to the item in, in their on their page, and then you can just check around the rest of their site from there. So uh, it may be a little bit easier for you if you're going to look directly for the item. Duh, right? <laughs> and I'll have a link down below to their Facebook page if you want to check them out on Facebook. Other than that, let's have a vape wrap this up. Hope you have a great day, wonderful weekend, whatever part of the week it is for you. Um, but no matter what, Stay safe, keep doing what you do, and until next time, woo, vape on, and go check out e Lobby. Y'all have a good one, and we'll catch you next time.